Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Yuri Yabi. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. This bad boy can produce beautiful footage and it's really helped me grow as a filmmaker. The image quality is sharp and detailed and the color science is truly inspirational. In an age where camera quality is incredible and the playing field is kind of leveling out, sometimes it's not about features, but about what the camera brings to its user. Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro, pff, it's a mouthful, has a lot of great features has built-in ND, which is something I didn't know I loved before I had it. I remember on, I was on the coast of Kenya filming a Maasai security guard. If you're trying to shoot 1.8, those white sandy beaches, that equatorial sunlight. If you have an idea, you want to execute it as quickly as possible. Well, yeah, I love gear. We want the gear to serve us and not limit us. If I have an idea, I want to execute it as quickly as possible. And having built-in NDs, being able to switch up depending on the look, depending on what I need, it's fantastic. It also has great focus peaking, which helps you to accurately focus your shots. And it's something you'll definitely need because no out of focus. Lots of people hate on it for that reason, but I have to say, it's a blessing. Coming from the Sony Alpha line, manual focus was something that I occasionally used when rack focusing. But being forced to pull focus manually has not only made me better at pulling focus, but also more conscious of the power of the focus. It's a tool to direct the viewer's eyes and guide the narrative. By shooting everything without a focus, you're giving away a valuable resource to sculpt your story to a computer. I'm not gonna say that I never miss out of focus, but not having it has helped me grow and understand my lenses better. Another thing I love about the 6K Pro is that it can record B-RAW formats, which gives you a lot of flexibility in post-production. While we are here, we may as well talk about the design. And I'll be real honest, it sucks. I don't like the shape of the body. It sucks to balance on a gimbal. I have to use counterweights. But to me, the shape is far less important than what I bought it for, and that is the image quality. One of my friends, he loves shooting on the 50 mil 1.8 pancake lens, which is miniature. Strap this around your neck and you know, you're really low profile yet getting amazing footage on the go. One thing I wish I had known before I bought this camera is that, yeah, you're gonna spend a couple thousand extra on accessories. One thing I think is essential is to have a cage to have so much more mounting options. I really love throwing a small 15 millimeter rod on here, a little manual follow focus, and then just handheld, I can get amazing shots, pull my rack focus, yet it's super low profile, which is fantastic. Shooting with a photo lens like Sigma 18 to 35, people are already less intimidated and they don't look at the camera that much. So it just helps you to get those genuine experiences that you're looking for and I love it. As I hope you can tell, I'm hyped about the BMPCC 6K Pro. It's a wonderful camera that can produce amazing results. So if you're looking for a versatile camera that can shoot high quality footage in a small package, then I highly recommend the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. It's a pleasure to shoot with and the footage it produces truly inspires me to make more stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it wasn't too awkward. It was for me. <laughs> if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Uh, I'm just 
figuring this out, getting used to filming myself, sharing my knowledge, sharing my process as a filmmaker and as a creator. If you have any feedback on how to improve and how to better my set, let's help each other move forward.